just love when stereotypes reveal themselves to be true with laser-like precision, with all the subtleties of a cannon blast through your ass. <laughs> Fun times! Over the weekend, uh, comedian Bill Burr and that whatever he married was at the UFC, which featured Kid Rock, Tucker Carlson and of course the Donny T. Thousands of screaming fans and what went viral all weekend at the event was of course one bint who decided to do this. You know, this reminds me of the words of a former first lady, Bess Truman. A woman's place in public is to sit beside her husband, be silent, and be sure her hat is on straight. Very much mimicking the old saying, women should be seen and not heard. Apparently, this uh, originates from an old English phrase in the 15th century, children should be seen and not heard. That slowly over time morphed into women. Couldn't possibly imagine why. Uh, Loss on this one then is the nuance of the phrase a picture is worth a thousand words, especially when two fingers scream I'm a classless asshole. Can we be honest? Is anyone surprised at this? Really? It's a demo known for being obese, loud, vulgar and stupid with no sense of self-awareness or any semblance of social etiquette. Case in point. And everybody knows this, by the way, this is not some shocking new information. Anyone who saw this looked at the individual and went, <laughs> yeah, what else is new? But I gotta point this out and take a shot at Jeremy from the court ring here with him saying, The right losing their minds over Bill Burr's wife flipping off Trump, there's a reason to believe she was just flipping off the camera, is weak. I get that it was the weekend, but the faux outrage looks soft. So some see you next Tuesday doesn't like Trump, he will still be her president. This is why I said massive L here Jeremy, you failed to read the room. And mate, how do you do that? I saw your video on this, you scroll through the same Twitter I did. There was no faux outrage, what the hell man? Let, let me explain this, all right? On face value, the reaction from everyone is what I described a few moments ago, the yeah, what else is new? Especially if you've heard her before, she's just an obnoxiously annoying leftist. But even if she was just flipping off the camera, why do that at all? Look around you, the arena, the fans, who you're sitting next to, the cameras, how will this reflect on you and your husband, a known public figure? No, none of that is taken into any consideration. She just has to make a public spectacle of herself by being a classless piece of trash. And keep in mind, this is a 47-year-old woman of two as well. If anything, the whole episode was a billboard that said, don't marry this. Now, the reason why Bill is copying more flack for this stunt in the grand scheme of things is because very few people, if any, like his wife. Slowly over the years, whatever edge he had had been grounded away. And many people suspect, whether right or wrong, that she is to blame for that. Because the more of a central theme she became to his comedy, the more whipped he sounded. And if this tweet by Anthony Cumia is anything to go by, I'm not the only one who feels that way. Note the last line about his comedy. Hmm, interesting. I'm inclined to believe Anthony, seeing as he's not known for BSing, he's rather blunt. And given his political views, I can see why she had Bill muted, because Anthony wouldn't hold back. Hell, if Patrice was around, you know Patrice and Anthony would give him a hell, and rightly so. Most people can't stand her, and if you listen to episodes of his podcast, go look at the comment section of anyone that featured her. It is loaded with hundreds of comments of people annoyed that she's on it, because again, she's just obnoxiously irritating. And I suspect she ruined his political compass as well. Anyone remember a few years back, he joked about Duracell batteries and the panicking mother having a beeping device and Kevin come running out of the woods? With him saying like, what the fuck is in Kevin that is connected to that? That's some creepy new old order shit. Or making fun of Oprah who said being a mother is the most difficult job in the world. With him saying anything you can do in your pajamas is not a difficult job. Nor is she a mother, how the fuck would she know? And during the coof he said common sense. Hell, I argued with people who worked in hospitals and I was right. It couldn't possibly be because the whole world pulling in the same direction is a recipe for shenanigans. No, not at all. The main reason why people are roasting him is because for all of his bravado and old comedy of accurately nailing the stupidity of the opposite sex, he ended up marrying the very damn thing he made his career dunking on, which makes him look like a sellout at best and a sackless wanker at worst. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing.